Yeah, the United States, as I mentioned, have that edge. But let's start with Alex Rangieri, a 30-year-old, 200 centimeters tall, such a physical specimen, a spectacular blocker up at the net. And here's a guy who really loves to play to the crowd. And so it will be key for the United States to get that crowd on their side easily early on to slow down Rangieri. His partner, Adrian Carambula, 29 years of age, 183 centimeters tall. He loves to patrol in that backcourt. One of the craftiest players you will ever see. He's got all the shots in the world. And he's a nice guy to go along with that. It's going to be interesting. Will the love be there between Rangieri and Carambula? There's the love hug that we know so well. But they're going to have to have that chemistry to take down this man right here. Phil Dahlhauser, 37 years of age, 206 centimeters. He's a seven-time setter of the year on the FIVB Tour, a six-time blocker of the year. This man has done it all. World Championship, Olympic gold medal in 2008. And he continues to play strong and intimidate the rest of the field. And that is Phil Dahlhauser. And his partner out of Florida State University, 37-year-old, 193-centimeter defensive specialist, one of the quickest players that you will see on tour. He's been to the top of the podium seven times on the FIVB World Tour, and that is Nick the Quick Lucena. It'll be it. Very interesting to see how the Americans approach the Italian team here, particularly in the early exchanges of this uh, uh, opening set. As Dana's already pointed out, you, you never know what to expect from Karambula. He can send the ball 50, 60 feet into the air with his now world-famous sky ball serve. He can drop it so short over the net. So it will be interesting to see what kind of homework Lucena and Dolhauser have done on these two players and how they approach this knockout match. Karambula gets the action underway for Italy, serving Nick Lucena. Lucena on the attack, and Karambula has it covered. Rangieri sets. Karambula over the top of Dolhauser's block. Lucena, first power play. No, a nice little float. Rainbow shot over the top of both the Italian players. First point on the board for the Americans. Defenders love to toy with one another, and there's nothing worse than getting a rainbow shot by a fellow defender, and that's exactly what Nick Lucena does to Adrian Carambula on that play. Lucena serves Carambula. Rangieri sets the ball for his partner, and a very nice touch on the ball. He's got a real touch of class with that left arm swing, Carambula and he can cut with such an acute angle. And there's a classic example to tie their scores early on in the opening exchanges of this first set. Rangieri now serves for Italy. Still targeting Nick Lucena. Nick Lucena goes cross-court with a very good play. Trading sides out in the early exchanges. Was a big question. Could Nick Lucena side out with these big giants on the FIVB tour with his fellow partner Phil Dahlhauser? Because you know he's going to get the majority of serves, and the answer is absolutely yes. Nick, also one of the best defenders, but also his transition is so solid. That time can't put it away. It's the Italians who convert right there. So much chemistry between the Americans. But right there, as we said, the Italians, after really struggling as of late, have started to turn things up. Remember the last four tournaments they played in, a couple of 25th place finishes and a couple of 17ths. Nice play from uh, Nick Lucena there. Karen Bula takes the point. Let's just watch this one again in slow motion. Oh, he just puts it outside the line. Karen Bula left that perfectly. I thought he wasn't there in time. But uh, wonderful judgment from the Italian. With the advantage here, chance for a break. Karambula, float serve to Lucena. Dalhauser sets his partner. Rangieri's at the net. Now, it, if it comes down to a blocking match here, Dalhauser will not be happy to see that one on the board for Italy. 
Like I say, I always say Alex Rangieri, he's got so much potential as a blocker, and he can catch fire at any time. And there he is once again, but covered by Phil Dahlhauser and Phil making the Italians pay. That's how important a cover is right there. You see the big man, Phil Dahlhauser, six foot nine inches tall, getting low, getting ready to cover his partner. Instead, you know what? That would have been a point for Italy. And you just never know when the point is going to occur that's going to be the difference and turn the tables. Such a gentle giant off the court, Phil Dahlhauser. Karen Buller on the attack for Italy. Dahlhauser is there. Oh, Ranieri and Dahlhauser are starting to mix it at the net now. The heat is starting to get turned up. I've got a funny feeling this could be a real fiery one from the blockers, Dave. You're absolutely right. There's that big hit, Ranieri getting to the spot just before Phil Dahlhauser. Very contrasting styles here, Nick. You got the very subdued Nick Lucena and Phil Dahlhauser. You're not going to see a lot of uh, yelling, chipping away. They kind of quietly go about their business, whereas on the other side, it's a team that really wears the emotions on their sleeve. You know when they're upset with their body <laughs> language. They'll tell one another in the crossover, in the rest area. And so two contrasting styles going at it. Over on two from Dolhauser is a hit, a success, and a point on the board. We're all tied at five points all. I have to say, Dan, good play from uh, both teams on court. Difficult to pick either one taking this first set at this point. Yeah, so many times a team comes out and they just don't look ready to go. Both these teams really on fire, playing high level. And there's an ace right down the middle by big Phil Dolhauser. Here's a replay. And that's right in that sweet spot, Nick, that we talk about right down the middle. Make the opposition communicate with one another. And that's exactly what Phil does. Let's see if he goes right back to that position. Well, he tries it. Just caught out by the net. Scores all tied at uh, six all. Back there, didn't he, Lucena? Rangieri. You can see how much it means to him to win this battle at the net against the legend of Phil Dolhauser. Phil nearly had it picked out of the net. Great shot from Karambula. Wonderful cover and finishes it equally as nicely. The Italians, they look sharp right now. Blocking at the net, Rangieri. The United States having trouble getting past there. And when they do, they have to deal with Adrian Karambula, who seems to have done his homework and knows exactly where that ball is going before it's even hit. Good point, Dane. Let's not forget that they were on center court just yesterday evening, the Italian duo, in an Absolute blazing battle with uh, Bockermann and Flugen of Germany. It was a three-setter. Could have gone either team's way at the end of that third set. And so it is good to see Italy not only rested, but also having done some pretty serious study on the American team to get this game right. Yeah, Adrian Carambula, student of the game for sure. Has such a high volleyball IQ, has so many crafty shots. And he's not the biggest player. There's a nice up, but Rangieri can't make the move. And when you're not the biggest player out there, you gotta get crafty. You gotta really have some unique shots. Look at this defensive effort. That's one thing you'll get out of Karambula is 100% effort all the time. Here is Karambula on the attack for Italy. Dullhauser is there at the net. But it looks like he put it into the net rather than just the pressure of seeing Dolhauser looming over. Can put so many attacking players off their rhythm, flow, and focus. 
Looks like we're going to get a timeout by the Italians. They're not happy with giving up three in a row right there. And you're absolutely right. No block registered for Big Phil Dahlhauser. That ball going into the top of the net. Now, they normally communicate in English, the Italians. Let's see if we can hear any words oh between God. the two. Not a lot to say. To be honest, it's normally Karen Bula that does the talking and uh, Rangieri the listening. There's Dolhauser to the right with the number one on the American red and white shirt. And uh, Nick Lucena wearing the number two. It's hot out there, and the temperature continues to rise. A real heat wave across Austria this week. Temperatures expected to go as high as 38, 39 degrees Celsius. Now, there's Rangieri's grandmother, who's come from Rome to watch him play. <laughs> he was waving and blowing kisses to her yesterday, and she's on the TV again today. <laughs> Let's see if that fires up Rangieri even more. Almost there from Karambula. They can't afford to give away those shots right there. Karambula trying to be a little bit too precise. Trying to kind of use a little body English to get that ball to go over the net, but to no avail. The United States now up two. Good shot from Karambula. Good work as well from his partner Rangieri to make sure that he had room between the shot and the net. That will be the strategy for the United States. Go to Adrian Karambula, shorter of the two players, and try to run down those shots. Oh, Nick Lucena. Quick Nick, he's often referred to back home in the USA and showing his speed of movement there. That quick arm. So hard to track when a player has a quick arm because it just happens so fast, and he's able to put velocity on it right when you think he's going to shoot. Karambula really has to go after Phil Dahlhauser. You notice Phil Dahlhauser does not have any blocks so far. So when this happens, when you start having hitting errors, when the blocker hasn't blocked, I call it giving the blocker a little bit too much credit. Everyone knows Phil Dahlhauser one of the best blockers in the world. But allow him to block, right? Go after him and see if he's going to block you. Don't try to go around him and make errors until he's blocked you a few times. So if you're Karen Bula, I'd be telling him, challenge Phil. And if that doesn't work, then go back to the shots. But just unforced errors going around him right now is definitely not the answer. That's a very good point that you make, Dane. So often, just the presence of Phil Dolhauser at the net can affect a player's judgment and a player's confidence. And that certainly appears to be the way for Karen Bula right now, firing that ball into his own net on two, three occasions. So, halfway point of the first set, we call that the technical timeout. Each team can call a timeout of their own, but only one each team per set. The break, 30 seconds. Now let's see if the little break can help, because the Americans look to pick it up where they left off. Dolhauser with the service, leading 12 to 9. Rangieri sets Karambula. Lucena covers, now looks to finish. Rangieri's there, but great play from Lucena to keep the ball up. Rangieri, second time of asking, puts the ball down. Nick Lucena needs to come up with a different plan against the Italian at the net. Yeah, right now, Rangieri timing it so well. You see Nick's about five feet off the net, so he delays his block, and that's going to be a big momentum changer for the Italians. A couple of blocks, putting up a wall is Alex Rangieri. But you're not going to ever make Nick Lucena panic. He's a guy, he's so smooth and so composed, he'll just keep coming back at you. And 
that ball out of bounds. So now the block possibly getting in the head of Nick Lucena. He's trying to go around it that time after Renieri got a hold of his last two hits. Let's see the strategy here. Oh, that's the sign of a great partner. <laughs> Knows that you're in trouble, so that's he says, enough. why don't you just tee this thing up and I will hit it on the second contact. And the fact that Phil Dahlhauser is a left sider and makes that right-handed swing much easier on the second contact. Good shot from Karambula. He wants to show Dolhauser that he's got power play in his repertoire as well. Good shot from the Italian right down the line. Oh man, there was just no room for air right there. Karambula threading the needle. Well, that's a good shot from Phil Dolhauser. Smashes it into the hands of Rangieri. Been a battle. Two great defenders. Awesome blockers at the net. It's been pretty even so far. That's too long. First error we've seen from Dolhauser from a service perspective in this match. Something you very rarely see the two American players, both at 37 years of age. Oh, but right back for the Americans with a service error from Karen Bula. The break is still with the USA at 15 to 13. Nick Lucena serves Karen Bula. Good cover from Nick, now looking to finish. And a good call from Rangieri to his teammate Karen Bula to leave that ball be. Looks like the Americans may well challenge. Challenge by USA for block touch. Well, the Americans think that there was a touch on the block. Let's leave this one to Hawkeye to settle. The United States using one of their challenges. You get two challenges per set. If you're unsuccessful, you lose those. But if you are successful, you retain them. So theoretically, you can continue to challenge if you are successful. That ball initially called out of bounds. And the United States saying it was off the block and out of bounds. So therefore, it should be their point. Ooh, that left right ring finger might have been hit. I'd say it was. Oh, oh no. Jorge says no touch at all. Well, that's enough. The decision has been taken. Let's move on. One challenge remaining for the USA. If they were successful, they'd have kept their two challenges. Rangieri serves. Serves Nick Lucena. Dalhauser with the back set. Rangieri is there at the net again. Alex Rangieri is everywhere, owning the blo blocking battle right now between he and Phil Dalhauser. Currently, Four blocks for Rangieri, zero blocks for Big Phil. That's an impressive stat. Rangieri floats over again to Nicholas Senna. Dolhauser sets his partner. And down the middle, call from uh, Dolhauser to go down the line. 16-15 to the USA. They really are targeting Lucena with everything the Italians, Dane. Yeah, I was going to say, really smart shot by Nick. You know, he comes into every match with a mental focus that he is going to get served every time. So it's no surprise to him he is fully prepared. The rainbow poke is scooped up by Nick Lucena, and then he's able to convert. That's why they call him Nick the Quick. He holds in that angle. Without fully committing, he's in a full read, able to switch directions, get that ball up in the air, and look at that big double arm lift, and he goes right down the middle between the defender and the blocker. Nick the quick, they need to squeeze in lightning somewhere as well there, because that was spectacular. Rangieri sets the ball up for Karambula. And you can see Dolhauser just getting a little frustrated that his block is not quite where he wants it. 
Let's take the point, don't get me wrong. See how Karambula just puts the ball out of play. Dolhauser would, would dearly love to be spiking those down to the sand, not hoping that they're out of play. Three points clear for the USA, looking good here for set one. Dolhauser, little kiss off the net, but serves Karambula. Lucena is there again with great cover. Can he finish? Oh, 37 year old from Florida. Just caught on the back foot and a little off balance with his shot there. Just didn't put the ball a little bit close to the net. Not close enough for Phil on that set. Tried to roll the dice. When you're setting from 20 feet off, it's hard to get that offense going. Here's Nick again. And that time, the quick arm swing. Rangieri thought that he had that block, but Nick just squeaked it through. And the United States starting to pull away right now and seal this thing up. Here's the scary stat. Rangieri has got four blocks to Phil's zero. But you know what, Nick? The United States is up by two points. Imagine if Phil gets just a few blocks, he could blow this thing out of the water. So that's the issue right now. With those four blocks, Italy should have the lead, yeah. but they've given it away by unforced errors Why the United States has stayed strong. Rangieri with service. They're still targeting Nick Lucena. So often the case when you face this American team over the top of the block, cover from Karambula. Karambula goes down the line down the alley and pulls another big point back on the board for Italy. Caragula, just a magician right there. Running down the line, he scooped up so many balls. This time, he challenges Phil once again. We saw him challenge from the right side of the net in trans right down the line. This time from the left side of the net, Phil has to seal up that line if he's going to block Adrian Carambula. That's a very good point that you make, Dana. The USA have called a timeout, 30-second breather, and the reason why is the two very quick points in succession to pull Italy back into the chase for this first set. 19-18, the advantage with the uh, USA. There's the Lucena fans come all the way from Florida to cheer on their man. There's quite a few out there, but uh, the 34 seeds, Adam... Adrian, I should say, Karambula and Alex Rangieri are giving the number three seeds from the United States of America, Phil Dolhouse and Nick Lucena, a run for the money here right now. And uh, Phil Dolhouse is yet to put that world famous block down. This is the time to find it, this is the time to turn it on. America just need a couple of points to wrap it up. Oh, well, that's an easy one to take, isn't it? Justifying the call out of the timeout by the Americans. Fans are on their feet. Set point number one for the USA. It'll be Big Phil Dolhauser with the service. Jump serve. Oh, and it's a serve. Shank from Rangieri. Call a timeout, 30 second break, two points in a matter of a split second, and set one is all over. The USA take it and take it in style at the end with those two quick points, Dane. Yeah, really, Phil Dahlhauser with two aces in that set. Again, where's the vulnerable spot? It's right down the middle, and immediately Alex Rangieri knows that set is over after a shank, and he heads to the rest area. Here's that jump float. You remember years ago, Phil Dahlhauser, along with a lot of the players, used to really top spin and rip that ball, and his serve was lightning fast. But now he likes the jump float serve, and it's just as effective. Confirmation set one, 21-18 to the United States of America. The attacks look good, but it's that block stat that will have the American coaches just a little concerned going into this second set, Dane. Yeah, well, it is concerning, but it's kind of a luxury that's gone out the door. They, they're they fortunately playing a team that has given them some unforced errors. As you get further on in the tournament, playing teams that are not going to give up points, and that becomes more of a factor. Right now, if you think, imagine Phil Dahlhauser, if he had three or four blocks, that would have been 21 to 15. Yeah. And so that's a concern for the Italians. There's the overpass. 
to start it off. And this is where Italy has to really watch it because in the past we've seen them get a little chippy with one another when things aren't going their way. And to start off with an overpass, an easy point for the United States is not what Italy wants to do. Italy have to win this second set to take it to a third tie break. No, no, no. And it feels so good at knowing where to block, not to reach and try to take the ball that's hit out of bounds. Such a smart blocker. He's gotten smarter. Every tournament he's really played in, such a student of the game and so good at just about every single skill. Lucena serves very short to Karambula. Oh, great play from Nick Lucena. And he finishes it. That is absolute commitment. Not leaning back or just relaxing a little and relying on that one set to zero advantage. But they're fighting in this second set as hard as they were in the opening exchanges of the first day. That's a sign of a great team. Yeah. You have good teams and you have great teams. Great teams know that after you win the first set, you really haven't done anything. You have to win another set. So you don't slow down, you don't downshift, you shift up and you take it to another level. And that's what the Americans are capable of. That would be going away from the challenge. Now, Italy have used their timeout incredibly early here. They give themselves very little flexibility by uh, calling this early timeout, but uh, I guess you can understand why after, again, quick scoring points from all around the court by the Americans at the start of the second set. The big surprise, I believe, is the fact that four out of five previous meetings between these two have gone to three sets. The United States has won them all, but they've allowed it to go to three sets, and it's no different here, I think, Phil and Nick know the history, and they do not want to go three sets, especially in this heat. Oh, block by Phil Dahlhauser is nullified by Adrian Caramula and Alex Rangieri. There's the touch. Looks like it's going to be a successful block. Rangieri turns with the left hand and the put away. Caramula with service for Italy. Again to Nick Lucena. Oh, lovely cross-court play from Nick Lucena. 4-1 the lead for the United States of America. See that quick hit right there by Nick. Remember, Nick, six foot one going up against the six foot six Alex Rangieri. So he's always given up a few inches, but he makes up for it with that quick arm. Oh, is that good or is it out? Referee says it's out of play. Unforced error once again, Nick. We've been talking about that. Remember a few unforced errors in the first set. Now you're starting to see them add up. Another ball down the line and out of bounds. 5-1 to the United States of America. Italy have already used their timeout. Ranieri goes over on two and belts that ball off the head. It looked like of... Uh, Phil Dolhauser to put their second score on the board. A total of seven points for both teams. That tells us time for a side switch. Rangieri at the back of court with service for Italy. Great shot again from Nick Lucena. Has such great vision when he goes up. And you know what makes him so deceptive is every time he comes in, you're not sure if he's going to hit that ball or shoot it. And that keeps you always guessing. Oh, what a beautiful inside out. That's that craftiness we're talking about from Adrian Carambula. You know, originally, Adrian Carambula from Bolivia, from Uruguay, and moved to the United States, actually has dual citizenship, of course, and there's that sky ball, or super sky ball, we'll call it, by Karamula, and the United States hangs in there. Such a non-traditional serve right there as it goes so high up in the air, and when the sun's up there, that can be a factor. If there's any wind, that also can be a factor, but wow. 
The crowd love it, Dane. They really do. The advantage is still with the United States of America. Rangieri with a lovely power play over on two. 4-7. There needs to be a little more urgency to the Italian play. They must win this second set to stay in the match. And uh, just seem to be coasting along a little Italy. Karen Bula tries to bring a bit of spark with his super sky ball serve. That's more like it from Rangieri. Rangieri registering the fifth block of the match. Look at his timing, up and over. What makes him so effective is he seals that net. There's no real room to squeak it in between. Oh, there's the set. And usually the lower player has that leverage. Rangieri is going to challenge and say, Net violation on Nick Luceno. Let's see here on the replay if we can see it. There's the push, and yeah, Nick Luceno touches the top of the net after he wins the joust. And so this one will be an easy decision by our replay referees. Italy challenging netball. We've already seen it on the replay. Now it's time to look at it officially on the Hawkeye system. But this point will end up point for Italy. There's the follow through in the net violation. And Rangieri is really pumped up. It looked like Rangieri actually is very interesting to me. He just celebrated more than we've seen him celebrate when he has a success. He's got five blocks. We didn't see this type of celebration, but he's going to celebrate like that, winning a challenge? He's, uh, well, yeah, he's his own man, that's for sure. We said right at the beginning of this broadcast, the Italians, two of the real characters of the game. All that celebration, and then he just gives the ball back to the Americans, puts it right into the net. They are a law unto their own, these two Italian players. When they're on fire, they're fantastic, but sometimes you're left scratching your head, I have to admit. Well, a lot of times, Rangieri is playing to the crowd a little much, and I think the fact that he lost that joust, he was so happy that he was justified. And there's a nice cover. Oh, Karambula finishes off an excellent rally. Beautiful play from all four on court, but Italy take the point. Beautiful play, great rally, all four players on the court. Karambula takes the service. Lucena on the attack. Oh, and Dolhauser puts it away. Another good block from Rangieri, but it was read perfectly by the Americans this time around. The United States really covering the ball well. You know, what I was saying about Rangieri is the fact that he loves to play to the crowd so much, and he lost that joust to Nick, and then when he won and was justified that actually he won the point. He was so excited. He needs to focus that energy each and every point, regardless of if it's spectacular or not, and maybe stop worrying about the crowd so much. There's a big hit, and there's a stare down by Rangieri. As you like to say, quite the character. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just a little bit of needle into this match could help raise the adrenaline from the Italians. Great play. Let's not forget that Dolhauser, he may be one of the quieter men of the game, but he likes to let his shots do the talking. Good from Nick Lucena. Yeah, I guess that's why it's, it's so exposed. You hit it on the head right there, Nick. Phil likes to do the talking with his actions, and then Rangieri, a little more show out on the court. But you know, Rangieri, I mean, if you look at his frame, he's, he's long and lanky, six foot six. He's kind of that prototypical. If you're creating a player, yeah. kind of create that body type, and he's so springy, so athletic. It's, you know, a real pleasure to watch. Look at that jump set and the agility. Good cover from Lucena. Oh, look at that. Beautiful play again from all four on court. Backflip a save from Italy, but America come away with the point and the break now is starting to get bigger. And look at this, this is a stall tactic going on. Uh, we're in replay right now, but Karambula has gone over to the 
corner line to clean off his glasses. Rangieri went all the way over to the rest area. And remember, they're out of timeouts. You can't really slow this thing down. The referee whistling for them to get on the court or they're going to get a delay of game. Oh, almost there. That ball just out of bounds. Phil trying to poke it to the deep corner. I mean, they're going to challenge it. Now, not sure what they're challenging. Let's try to find out here. Challenge, challenge by USA for net fault. Net fault? Net fault. Not sure where that would have happened on that last play, but uh, we're going to take a look. <laughs> Alex Rangieri playing the nice guy. He said the ref's rushing him to go. He says, but it's 45 degrees out here. And then he says, I appreciate it. You know, the players trying to get any relief possible. It is blazing hot. But we're looking for a challenge. Was there a net violation right here by uh, Karabula? Uh, not, even, not even close, I don't believe. No fault there, and so point will stay with the Italians. Beautiful shot from Phil Dolhauser. Just hanging in the air. Nobody knows what type of play he's going for. Just pokes it over the top. Technical timeout, 12-9, halfway point of the second set. Quick reminder that the USA won the first 21-18. to 18, And a 12-9 up in the second set here. Italy have to win the second to take it to a tie-break third. So far, so good for Team Let's USA. Dalhauser yeah. to the right there. Nick Lucena on the left. Yeah, right now, everything really going the way for Lucena and Dalhauser. There you look at the errors. Karambu and Rangieri, six to five. It's the blocking, though, that has been dominated by Rangieri. And Keep Phil Dalhauser hasn't no. had any success at the net so far. Well, there's. Uh, <laughs> Adrian Karambula, Alex Rangieri. Second half of the second set here. Pressure is on Italy. To raise their game right now. That ball is out of play. A little over aggressive from Karambula. Up he goes. A long way out. 13 9 now to the Americans. Oh, great up from Nick Lucena. Again, good cover from the American defense. Lucena now on the attack. Well, it comes off his head by the end of the play, but Rangieri continues to put in some excellent work at the net for the Italian team. Rangieri completely dominant at the net. Anything close, it seems to be scary. Nick. Lucena tries to head that ball. A little soccer action to keep it alive, but the United States still with that three-point cushion. Oh, wonderful play again. The ball is still up. Well, Karambula finally gets the winning point. And a big one it is. Narrowing the advantage by the USA to just two points. Look at that roll shot by Nick. And Adrian Karambula keeps his balance to keep that ball up. And then right here, rips it. 
Mix there, but it goes under the net. Phil has to make a decision. Probably should have tried to play that ball before it got to that net plane, but point for Italy nonetheless. Good shot from Nick Lucena. Important point for the USA. Just keeping control. It is so hot, such difficult playing conditions as uh, the capital of Austria, Vienna, experiencing this uh, very hot heat wave. Got it, got it, got it. That's too deep, too hard. Yeah. From Karambula. Another hitting error for yeah. Karambula. Those numbers are starting to add up and give the United States a nice cushion. As you mentioned it, the heat, 37 degrees. And down on the sand, we are plus 50. And there is a complete oh dear. miss. We don't see that very often. Alex Rangieri lost that ball. Maybe there's some moisture on the ball there. That one got stuck. A double contact is called immediately. You saw Rangieri talking to the ref early. Give him a break. The heat was so high. You know, there's rules in the FIVB handbook. If the heat got dangerously hot, then they would start making some adjustments. There's Phil owning the net yeah. once again. And those adjustments would be, they would not only give a technical timeout at 21 points, they would do it at, at 42 as well if the game was extended and the refs have the authority to give a few more water breaks on the side changes. And so there's some relief, some rules built in. We haven't seen those rules in force. The refs kind of blowing it themselves. 64 degrees Celsius down on the sand. And that's an error for Italy. It's all going wrong now for Carambula Rangieri. 18 points to 11. The United States of America starting to stamp their authority on this second set and make their way into the round of 16. It looks like it's all over for the Italians and the 34 seats of Carambula and Rangieri. 19-11 now. The USA can do no wrong. Everything going the way of the United States. That's what they do. You mentioned it earlier. They let their play speak for itself and they just go about their business and continue to put pressure. And Nick is there. Good play from Karambula. Karambula putting that ball away. He sees the court so well. Here's the joust at the net. Nice balance by Rangieri. And then Karambula, knowing that Phil is playing defense, tries to go away. Another beautiful touch of class from uh, Karambula. Fighting it all the way on, but it's like, good to see not going to give this one up without providing us with a couple of lovely shots. Karambula with service again. Nick Lucena out of position for the first time. Poor serve received from Lucena. Allows another point on the board for the Italians. And the Americans call a timeout, Dane. Adrian Karambula stepping up, the 2015 FIVB top rookie on tour. And this is one of those cases where you this get here, okay? such a big lead. You see that six points in a row from the United States to get them to 19. And then you kind of forget, this is to 21. You got to finish it off. And maybe a little lapse of concentration by the United States after getting such a huge lead, giving up the last three points. There's Adrian Karambula, originally from Uruguay, moved to the United States at age 13, started playing beach volleyball in South Florida, never played indoor volleyball, and he also has citizenship, obviously, in Italy, so dual citizenship between Uruguay and Italy. He started playing a few years ago and has represented Italy well. 
The ball is on the line. It's a good side out for the USA. It is match point for number three seats. Phil Dolhauser and Nick Lucena. Six match points, actually, to be precise. Crowd are on their feet. The Americans will look to finish this as quick as they can as the temperatures continue to rise here in the Red Bull Arena and centre court of the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. Here's Rangieri. Dolhauser gets the block, but not quite into the court. 15-20, second match point for the USA. This is just unheard of. Seven blocks for Rangieri, zero blocks for Phil Dahlhauser, yet the United States in complete command. Rangieri with service. Sticking to the tactic of serving Nick Lucena. Can Lucena finish it? That ball is out too deep. Match point number three for the USA. Rangieri goes to the back of court to serve again for Italy. 16 to 20. Lucena. He's got the better of Rangieri. No, Rangieri. Out on top again. 17. Now, all of a sudden, the Italians start to think that they can take this to three. This is quite a comeback right now. Can they keep it going? It's there! Set has gone to America. The match goes to the USA. 21 to 17, having collected the first set at 21 to 18. Good play from Karen Bula and Ranieri. But the Americans, as we expected, Dane, dominating sets one and two. They were just too strong right there. They built too big of a cushion. And the Italians, too many unforced errors. But beautiful net play by Ranieri. They just have to lower those unforced errors and they'll be in better shape. So they make it to the round of 32 after coming out of that lucky loser, but that'll be it for the Italians. Well, uh, the number three seeds continue their quest for world championship glory. Here's the final point from Nick Lucena, who was uh, really served a very difficult match. They targeted Lucena throughout the whole game. And credit where it's due from a fitness perspective, to be honest. Really having to do far much more work than almost any other player on court, Nick Lucena. But he comes out on top and takes the match point here. And a lovely shot down the middle of the Italian court to wrap it all up. A 21-17 to 17 for the USA in the second set. Two sets to zero and an emphatic victory for Team USA. We say, sadly, goodbye to Team Italy. Rangieri and Karambula are knocked out of the competition.